Okay, continuing with the super chats. Uh, Ava FPV says, I sent you a DM on Discord. ESC rebooted mid-flight. Uh, let's see what Ava's up to. Ava says, hi, I'm trying to figure out a weird issue. ESC rebooted mid-flight. I encountered this issue before on the same quad or its identical twin. First time was a super gentle Cinewhoop cruising. This time was during tuning flippy flops. Has not been a regular issue, and the only similarity is that the motors were scorching hot. Okay, so anytime you're flying and your motors are scorching hot, uh, well, number one, I'd just be worried about burning a motor. And I'd wonder if, like, something's up with your gyro, your pid tune, your filters that's causing the motors to be hot. Now, it's tricky because Cinewhoops usually run hot because they're carrying a lot of weight. The GoPro, if you've got a GoPro on a Cinewhoop, it's normal for the motors to run a little hot. But if they are scorching hot, probably something is wrong. So the ESC rebooting and the motors being scorching hot could be related. Let's take a look at this video. We'll unmute the desktop up. I hear a little twitch there. Did you hear that? Not there. Go back a little further. Yeah, do you hear the motors going tick 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 even when the quad is just hovering? Listen. Right there. Do you hear that? Tick 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 tick. The motors are super. They're having a problem. Right there. Oh, big shutter there. You see it went whoop up after the roll. Right there. Whoop up. There's something's wrong with the tune. Okay, now what's that sound? That's not the standard startup sound. Okay, so that was the startup music from the ESC. So the ESC had a full reboot. Um, okay, the, Ava, the first thing I would have you do is go back to the default. You said you're doing PID tuning. Go back to the default PIDs and filters, okay? Center up those sliders. The default PIDs and filters are fairly conservative, and if the quadcopter isn't flying like reasonably on defaults then we have to we have to explain why i don't know right here whether you've been tuning it and you've like got your d, d gain super jacked up or something um the the rough sounding motors the kind of the tick 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 and the whop whop at the end of the uh flip tells me that something's off with the pids something's off like the hot motors and the rough sounding motors tell me that there's excess vibration or electrical noise getting to the gyro. If you're if if you if I knew that you were on default pids and filters, that would then I could comment on that. Um, Ava is typing. We'll see if that so there's more information coming. Um, normal build with the RPM filtering preset. The only real change to tuning is MM at 1.2. What's MM? What's MM? Um, RPM filtering preset. Oh, Ava, uh, did you set your, your motor pole count correctly? If you're on Cinewhoop motors, you may only, oh, master multiplier. Thank you. If you're on Cinewhoop motors, your, you, your motors may have 12 magnets instead of 14. Uh, that, that would cause your RPM filters to be whacked out and make a lot of problems for you. That could cause, that could explain it. Master multiplier at 1.2 is probably fine. Um, if you hadn't changed your filters at all, double check the pole count. Some uh, Cinewhoop motors will have 14 poles, 14 magnets. Some will have 12, depending on what motors you've got. Um, so just turn the motor upside down and count the magnets around the around the outside. <laughs> um, so something's up with your filtering or with your flight controller, your gyro. 
with with a with a master multiplier at one point two that should not be flying like this, and the motors should not be scorching hot. Cole Powers asks, "Are just the motors getting hot, or are the screws hot too?" Cole, I see what you're where you're going with that. You want to know if there's current going through the motor screws. The problem with that is that oftentimes, in my experience at least, oftentimes if the motor is scorching hot, it will make the screws hot just because it's a big hunk of metal and the heat travels through it. So so I don't think that's definitive. Um, uh, I will say, Ava, if you've applied a preset then we should think about whether that preset contains some settings that are not right for your setup. And anytime you've got gyro noise or electrical noise, then you want to think about the mechanical characteristics of the quad. Is the frame cracked? Is there a loose screw, a loose uh, something causing extra vibration or resonance? Um, uh, the other thing you can do is, if you have hot, Ava, this is a great tip. If you have hot motors, when you arm the quad, take the quad into the bench, plug it into the computer, and spin the motors using the Betaflight Motors Tab sliders. If the motors are hot when you arm it, but normal when you use the motor sliders, that 100% tells you the flight controller is the problem. Because... The gyro, the pids, the filters, all of that stuff is completely disabled when you use the motor tab sliders. And yeah, my, take your props off before you do that, of course. Um, 